one of my favorite tools to use, especially when I travel, are gliders. So gliders are just um, small little discs where you, that you can do for extra resistance. Uh, some of them come, the one that I have come with two different sides, one is for tile floor, the other side is for carpet. So you can actually use them anywhere. They're super light, they don't weigh anything. So if you have to travel by air, it doesn't cost extra money to take them with you especially if you don't have access to um, to a gym. So um, I want to share just a few of these exercises that we're doing and uh, hopefully you enjoy them. So the first one is a combination of a mountain climber and a hamstring curl. So the mountain climber works a lot of your quads, it works your core, um, it works your overall strength levels. And uh, the hamstring curls, when you flip around, you're doing a bridge and you're using your heels to move the gliders back and forth. Um, so most of your weight has to be really in your core and your back so that you don't lose the gliders as you're sliding them. And it works, uh, it's a really good hamstring um, exercise. Sometimes in January, like now, we get a little bit tight on machines because all the new year's uh, resolution people come in. So I like to exchange ham uh, a hamstring curl machine or um, a leg extension with the gliders is excellent. Uh, we don't have to use a lot of machines and we're getting in a really good workout in. So here's your first one. This video shows a back lunge. So you're, you're just um, having uh, your foot stationary, the under, other one stands on a glider, your toes stand on a glider, and you're just gliding them back, uh, performing kind of a one-legged squat. Uh, so all of your weight should be, or most of your weight should be on that front stationary leg. Um, so you, you're using that glute, uh, you're using the hamstrings, using your overall muscle, you're getting a little bit of a hip flexor in. Um, so I'm performing them as a back lunge, especially if you have knee issues, back lunges sometimes feel a little bit better. Um, you can do a lateral lunge, so it's kind of like in a 45, and then you can do a front lunge. Now with the front lunge, you need to have a little bit more stability, a little bit better balance. So I would probably start with the back lunge, um, move to the lateral lunge, and then in the end go to the front lunge. jacks with my abdominal group. Um, usually we're doing several exercises for abdominals and then of course we're doing the floor jacks and the floor jacks just keeps your mind occupied as you're performing a plank really. Um, it's a little bit um, uh, harder to do just because you're moving your legs and your core has to work a little bit harder but uh, it's an excellent um, exercise for your core strength for overall abdominals and uh, um, you know spine spinal strength <laughs> I'm 
I'm showing you a, a chest fly with the glider. So your elbows are on the gliders, you're bringing it out and bring it back in. You can be on your knees if you need to, you don't have to be on your toes. You can also perform them one at a time, it's totally fine. If you ha don't have the strength to bring your body down to the floor and back up, you do one at a time. Don't, I try not to do this, just move your arm, move your whole body because this is when your core works. Um, also, I see a lot of people do this thing and that's just because it's easier. See if you can bring your arms apart and bring them back in. So they work your chest, they work your shoulders, they work your core, they work your tricep and your arms. The second exercise here is my uh, wax on, wax off. That's what I call it. It's just a simple rotation. You're in plank position on your hands and you're rotating the discs out. Some people like to rotate them in. It doesn't matter which side you're using. You know, you're doing, you're starting with five maybe on each side and working yourself up with 10 to 10. You can increase the numbers. Um, it all depends on your strength. Work, work, but you gotta put in work. Work, 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 work. You don't gotta go to work. Work, 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 work. Let my body do the work. Work, 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 work. We can work from home. Work, but you gotta put in work. Work, 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 work. You don't gotta go to work. Work, 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 work. Let my body do the work. Work, work. So this video is supposed to be a push-up in pike. However, with my shoulder issue that is not getting any better, I can't do the push-ups. Um, so, um, or I don't want to mess it up because I have to be able to lift the weights off the machines tomorrow. Um, so I'm just performing the pike. I bring my legs in in a nice hamstring stretch, but goes up to the ceiling. You come back down into a plank position. So what you would do if you're incorporating a push-up would be as you bring and you spread your legs out, you're coming into a plank position, you're pushing your, your arms down, push yourself back up, bring your legs together, up in a pike, uh, but goes up to the ceiling and back down. Work out for me, work out for me. you can do with the gliders. My tile floor doesn't glide very well so uh, I'm probably going to record the other exercises in the gym right early early morning when I don't have anybody around can't have anybody in the background unless of course they sign a photography waiver. So anyway um, I want to thank you so much to um, you know tune into my YouTube channel and uh, I hope this video is helping you a little bit to start out with gliders. If you don't have gliders, you just want to try out, you can use paper plates, you can use towels. If you have towel floor, you can use towels. Um, anything that glides will do. Some people use the furniture moving little discs that you stick under the furniture. So any of those will do. And um, anyway, I hope I deserve you a thumbs up. It's a short video and uh, um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.